Hi guys, it's never wise at two in the morning when you're bored and you've got nothing better to do and you think, hey, I've got a jolt. What shall I do? I know, I'll fire up the 3D printer. And you end up making something utterly ridiculous. like that it does have a snap-on attachment it does click in and you end up with a jolt with a suppressor and a barrel attachment and the suppressor is removable so you can use it without the suppressor and it does have a sight post um, and then you just click your suppressor back on And you've got a jolt with a suppressor. How stupid is that? Um, fun? Yeah. Practical? No. Tactical? No. Hilarious? For a moment. Um, worth the PLA? Probably. Um, it does need a little. It did. Well, it did need a little bit of cleaning up. Uh, I need to tighten the tolerances slightly around there because the gap is quite wide. Um, but otherwise, it still functions exactly like an ordinary jolt would. Um, if I just snap the barrel attachment off, pop a dart in. I can snap the attachment back on and it works just like an ordinary jolt just with a ridiculously large suppressor on the end the, the ID of the barrel attachment which has faux rifling by the way does not cause barrel drag or affect it at all. Um, this end needs deburring a little bit more, but um, I honestly couldn't be bothered at the time. Um, but yeah, it is sort of faux rifled to give you that James Bond effect. And it has a couple of pegs that slot in so you line up your pegs and then it should once it's lined up click into place and it's secure and when you want to remove it it just unclicks and then you find your slot and then re-click it back in great stuff so there you go one jolt with a barrel attachment and attachable suppressor um the unfortunate thing is it doesn't stay it doesn't stay straight so your aim isn't going to be perfect but then again it's a jolt um and when you want to reload, you have to take the attachment off, or the suppressor at least. It's easier just to take the whole thing off than unscrew the suppressor. Just snap the whole thing off and then pop the new round in and then reprime and then boink off your monitor. But no, I tested it and it in no way affects um, the performance of this high performing super blaster the jolt um but there you go that's what happens at 2 a.m when you haven't had much sleep you're tired but you can't really sleep um and you're bored and there's nothing on tv and you think hey let's fire up the 3d printer and see what i can make
that's that's the end result that's that's what happens so let that be a warning to you i've been matt take care don't forget hit like and subscribe down at the bottom and uh, hit that bell notification icon thing and you'll be notified when my next video is up but hopefully i'll make something a little more practical and a little more useful um or i'll do another blaster review um but yeah there you go tactical jolt take care guys see you later and have fun